The NRM Chief Whip Ruth Nankabirwa has been tasked to table the proposed constitutional amendments on the floor of Parliament on Tuesday next week. In the caucus meeting that sat yesterday at State House in Tebe, 273 NRM MPs backed a decision to amend Article 113 to give the President powers to appoint more ministers. We discussed as the caucus and we resolved to support the proposal which the President submitted to the caucus. In his recent appointments, Museven handed out 31 cabinet positions. However, the opposition says they will not support this position, though they face a tall order against NRM's numerical strength. We will put up a fight, that I can assure you. But I, I cannot determine that we will be able to succeed or not. But we will put up a fight, we will oppose it, and I know there are some NRM MPs who have expressed the same feelings. So if we join hands, we may fail it. Article 113, subsection 2 of the Constitution states that the total number of cabinet ministers shall not exceed 21 except with the approval of Parliament. While well, Article 114, subsection 3 of the same Constitution says the total number of state ministers shall not exceed 21 except with the approval of Parliament. Sources within the NRM caucus have told NTV that the President, who proposed the amendments, argued that an extended cabinet translates into service delivery. During a vote conducted yesterday, 273 NRM MPs supported the decision, 9 abstained, while 2 were against the amendments. Before a constitutional amendment can be approved in Parliament, it requires two-thirds majority vote. You have a very small revenue base and that also means that um, the cost of public administration is obviously going to go high because by having many ministers, that means you're, you're creating room for more salaries, issues like allowances. These numbers are not numbers that have risen because of service delivery, because of provision of social services. NTV has also learned that some NRM MPs we are bitter with the president for neglecting loyal NRM cadres for appointing opposition members and those defeated in the NRM caucus as ministers. However, the president said it was a mobilization tactic deployed against the opposition. Particular individuals who have joined him were on the opposition in the name. But they have been working with Mr. Museven. Museven appointed Betty Amongi of Uganda People's Congress as land minister, DP's Florence Natural Chienji as State Minister for Youth and Children Affairs, and Betty Kamia of Uganda Federal Alliance as Minister for Kampala, Hubbard Ziwa, NTV. <laughs>